Harry Mollish, The Discovery of Heaven. This is my 20th video. In the first one, I was talking about how important books are. In this one, I'm going to say be careful with books. So possibly it is an end of a cycle. Some of the previous books I called Game Changer. This one definitely is Perspective Changer. So let's start with the quote. Quote. If written in the three-letter words of the four-letter alphabet, a human being is determined by a genetic narrative long enough to fill the equivalent of 500 Bibles. In the meantime, human beings have discovered this for themselves. That's right. They have uncovered our profoundest concept, namely that life is ultimately reading. They themselves are the book of books. End of quote. Be careful with books. They give, but they take. You have to incorporate them in your life, not the other way around. Books offer parallel worlds, sometimes seemingly more meaningful than your own. Like a mermaid at the bottom of the sea, like mirage in the desert, like rainbow across the sky. They are appealing and they offer refuge, so you want to get closer. But who's ever tried knows it's impossible, because they are nothing but a dream, make-believe world. They can suck you in offering fulfillment, whatever you want however you want. They can seduce you with beauty, liveliness, fullness, wholeness. Beware of that. However tempting it might be, it's a castle built in the sand, and to everyone watching, it is obvious it will be gone with the first tide. Books can distract you from your own life. They can make you create reality that has nothing to do with reality. They can make you annulate boundaries and spill you all over. Read some and then go live. Then read some more and go live some more. Books give a lot. They answer questions and make you ask new ones. They open new horizons, shake your ground, show you that you're not the only one, comfort you, dazzle you, inspire you. Books can help you with coloring. You know, whatever happens to us, it's colorless. And then we choose colors to paint whatever has happened. We are choosing colors to paint our life. Books can help us to make more colorful painting. But they are not an end in itself. They are a tool, a very powerful tool. And as all tools, they have to be used carefully. What they should never become is substitute for life. No book is you. You are all the books of this world compiled and more. Take little pieces from books you read, but don't leave pieces of you inside books. It will help you to recreate yourself, understand your own book. If one day you hear a sound as if a raindrop fell into the ocean, it will be the end of reading, because that's the sound of completion. It means your personal book is completed, finished, understood, embraced. Everything you can read about in books is already in you. What isn't in you cannot be touched by books or by anything else. Every letter from every book is you. Words can tickle some sleepy parts and help us awaken them. But nothing can replace smell of the ocean, magic of a dawn stillness of the lake, softness of breeze on your face, strength of a hug, swim on a hot day, happiness on child's face. Nothing is ever more beautiful in words than it is in creation. Nothing is grander in words than it is in creation. Nothing is more real in words than it is in creation. Books can help you put in order pages of your own book. They can give structure, continuity, understanding, but what they can never add to your life is life, 
that sparkle that make, makes us vibrate. Nothing is simpler than life and nothing is more beautiful than life. Life is inhale and an exhale and a special moment in between. Everything else is just coloring. For me, to realize that I had to read hundreds, possibly thousands of books. 